Welcome, welcome, friends, to our Things You Wanted to Know About Young Living class. My name is Lucinda White, and I'm here with the lovely Haley B, who is going to help um, teach this class tonight. So let me share our screen, and we will go ahead and get started. All these technology issues that you have to get out of the way first. So uh, let me want. Technology is wonderful when it works really quick. And there we go. All right. So like I said, um, this is our things you always wanted to know about Young Living and Young Living products. So quick class, but um, great information. So um, standard disclaimer, no matter what class we're teaching. So any of the statements um, have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The products discussed are not meant to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Views expressed are from an independent distributor, not a medical professional, and do not necessarily reflect the views of Young Living Essential Oils. Views expressed apply only to Young Living Essential Oils, and your individual results may vary. Now, Haley's going to take you through the next few slides, and so enjoy. Thank you, Lucinda. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome. And we're going to go ahead and get started off with the biggest question question and most obvious question you would ask with Young Living Essential Oils is what are essential oils? And our answer to that is they are the lifeblood of a plant. And when these plants are grown in the right conditions, harvested at the correct time and distilled with the utmost care, they can aid in keeping our bodies healthy, well, and happy, which is how our bodies were intended to be. Essential oils are composed of teeny molecules. These molecules are so small that they can pass through our tissues and directly into our cells. Our systems are super efficient and can transport these molecules all over our bodies within a matter of minutes. What is seed to seal? So seed to seal is our commitment that helps ensure that with with every pure essential oil and Young Living product your family uses, you're enjoying the benefits of our global resources, industries, leaderships, and over two decades of innovation, which essentially means that you're, if it's not pure or potent enough, it's not going to get on the table for your family to go and use. And if you would like to know more about Seed to Seal and the information about it, you can go to seedtoseal.com and learn more. Awesome. Thank you for that, Haley. Of course. And our next question, so what are the three ways to use essential oils? So the answer to that is you can use it aromatically, internally, and topically. So aromatically, you can go and rub essential oils between your palms and inhale directly. So you can go and put a couple drops there and you can get your own little personal diffuser, or you can actually go and put it into a diffuser, which is nothing but water and you get some pretty lights out of it as well. Uh, the next way is internally or dietary. So you can put some drops into a vegetable capsule and you can swallow it some water. So you can take it like a pill every day, or you can go and put it in a shot glass full of water. You can put it in with your meals, or you can enhance your favorite drinks with an awesome flavor. And then lastly, topically. So you can go and place some essential oils directly onto your desired area and you can massage it in. We do recommend that you use a carrier oil, such as maybe a jojoba oil or a coconut oil, something along the lines if you're first using it topically, but um, yes. Our next question, so are they, are so are essential oils safe to ingest? So this goes along with our internal use of essential oils. And the answer is yes, you can ingest essential oils. And Young Living specifically has a vitality line of oils, which are safe to ingest. And there are over 40 oils in this line. That's amazing. I did not know. I kind of wanted to I wondered how much of our essential oils that Young Living has to offer were actually in the Vitality line. So essentially what this means is that you cannot go, or there are some oils that you can ingest and some oils that you can ingest. So this will go and move on to our next question. So what is the difference between white labeled oils and color labeled oils? And the answer to that is the only difference is the label. So due to the FDA regulations um, and 
oil cannot be labeled for both internal and topical use on the same label. So Young Living has gone and made the light label. So you know that those ones are safe to ingest and the other ones are safe to use topically. And essentially, if you do have the regular label and you're out of your uh, vitality line, you can use the same exact one. A great example for this is lemon essential oil. So so if you have, you ran out of your lemon vitality oil, but you still have your big 15 milliliter bottle of your regular lemon essential oil, you can go and use that instead. So Haley, does that mean the white labels are the vitality line of oils then? Correct. So yes, the uh -huh. white labels are the vitality line. And that kind of, how I go and remember that is essentially when you look at them, just like the text on the inside is a different color. So it makes it super easy that you know that all of these white labels are the ones you can go ingest as opposed to the rainbow of colors you would get with the regular oils. Awesome. So our next question, are essential oils safe to use on pets? Hmm. The answer is, yes, they are. So Young Living has a line of products dedicated to pets. So this is their Anascence line. So this stuff, really awesome and cool. They have some shampoos and conditioners for your dogs, as well as essential oil blends that are already pre-diluted for your animal. For uh, specific occasions, there's one that goes and helps them with um, anxiety for going to the vet or maybe some car rides. There's ones that help, uh, yeah, so essentially help them relax. Um, there's one that goes for owies. Um, they have some creams in the big ones and little hint, hint, you can also go and use that on. So if it's safe to use on yourself, of course, it's go safe to go and use on your pets. Cool. And I have, um, just to um, say along the, the ointment, I use that on my little chihuahua who has since passed over the rainbow bridge, but he had a sore on his face. This stuff within two to three days cleared up the sore and you wouldn't even know it was there. So well worth it if you have pets to have a container of this around. And I also forgot to mention all of products are plant-based, which is really cool. So our next question, can essential oils be used on infant toddlers? Hmm, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Yes, they can. If using regular oils, you can dilute them with a carrier oil, such as the jojoba oil that I mentioned earlier, or perhaps the V6 vegetable complex that Young Living also offers on coconut oil. So Young is the higher the the dilution rate. So essentially what you want to do is if you have your essential oils when you are using them on infants and toddlers, you just want to make sure that you dilute them. Oh, and of course it has specific lines that are dedicated infants, toddlers, and kids. And we'll get a little bit more into that. So first starting off, as I mentioned, there is a specific line for uh, infants, and it is called the seedlings line. This stuff is awesome. They're natural and safe baby products, so you don't have to worry about anything but keeping up with them, which is really awesome cool. The, the baby wipes, too, a little fun fact, you can also use those if you have sensitive skin and you need a makeup remover or a, like a cloth for a makeup remover. It's a little bit more nicer on your skin, and it really gets them off. And then our next line that we have, so it is Kids Sense line. So that's for your toddlers and young kiddos. It's awesome products that they have. Um, not only is there like shampoos and conditioners and of course essential oil blends that are also pre-diluted, but there's also supplements for your kids as well. So um, there's a nice line of different supplements. They taste really awesome for your kids. So it makes it a little bit easier on them. Cool. And I um, use Mighty Pro on my daughter. She's not an infant anymore. She's 23, but it's perfect for her system. And I just ordered the um, shampoo and, or maybe it was the bath shower gel. I'm really excited to get that because it's like we said, a little bit gentle around their skin. So our next question is what is a hot oil? If you know what a hot oil is, go ahead and type it in the chat and we'll see if you're right. 
So a hot oil is why you can apply many essential oils directly to the skin without dilution. Some are considered to be hot. These oils offer tons of benefits, but you will need to follow some basic steps to ensure you're not irritating your skin or accidentally causing an unwanted reaction. Some examples of hot oils and blends include cinnamon bark, clove, lemongrass, oregano, thieves, black pepper, ginger, and thyme. Peppermint can also be considered a hot oil, although some people like the cooling sensation of peppermint oil. The one other thing that I wanted to mention is um, when you're first starting out with oils, please be cautious, use them sparingly because a little bit goes a long way. And this also goes for the Vitality line. This is a personal experience that I had when I started out um, over a year and a half ago. Love lemon in my water, you know, and I'm like, oh, one drop is really good. Maybe four or five drops every time I fill up my water glass five, six times a day. Not good. It gave myself, I gave myself what I would call an inside out sunburn because I just had way too much. So a little bit goes a long way. So just be cautious when you're first starting out with them. So like Haley was mentioning, um, when you are using oils for the first time or on infants and kids, you do have to dilute. So um, when you're using it for the first time, if you have sensitive skin, infants and children, when it's a spicy oil, which is like um, hot oils, or when the label um, recommends to dilute them. And here's a little um, graphic on how much to dilute it. So, you know, zero to three months, one drop of oil to four teaspoons of a carrier oil. But then the older you get, the dilution ratio um, goes down a little bit. So do essential oils freeze? I just put this slide in the um, presentation today because I had sent out a gift to somebody they said it froze and one of the bottles cracked. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder if it was the oil in it. So I don't know. So the answer is- Do they listen to it? <laughs> I don't know. Here, we'll see. Um, so essential oils don't freeze per se. They crystallize and become foggy. This means that they don't solidify completely. So if your essential oils are pure, they won't freeze. When your essential oils freeze, it means that they have a high amount of water in them. They will then become solid because of the water. Allow them to thaw slowly before you. So um, I had asked this person that I sent a gift to which oils it was. So um, I have to go back and look up what I had sent her. One oil didn't freeze and I believe it was Panaway. And then the other one was a blend. So I'm just wondering what was in that blend of oils that might've caused it to freeze, but she said only one of them broke. So um, I'm tending to think maybe it was, maybe I had water in the bottle or something before I put the oils in, but who knows, but all is good. And she said her house in the package smelled wonderful when she opened it. The next question is, what oil is considered the king of oils? Haley, do you know the answer to this? Oh, Lucinda, I'm pretty sure I do, because it has to do with our recent class that we had, which was with the sacred oils. <laughs> you that, do know it. It yeah. is, for those who don't know, frankincense is a powerhouse oil, otherwise known as the king of essential oils. Um, frankincense essential oil comes from the Baswala Carteri tree, I believe. So um, frankincense has been used in religious rituals for over 3,000 years. It has been known to enhance immunological function, beautify your skin, and increase spiritual awareness. So um, such a powerhouse oil. I use this um, under my tongue to help my aches and pains on my legs at night. Other people um, put this in their water. Some people diffuse it. Like we said, it's a great powerhouse all-around oil. Here's the next question. What oil is considered the queen of oils? Any guesses other than Haley and myself? Okay, so the queen of oils is lavender. Lavender yes. is the most widely used oils of all essential oils and often referred to as the queen of essential oils. I must admit, this is one of my favorite oils, not because of the purple label or because it starts with an L like Lucinda does, but this is just very, very satisfying and um, calming to me. So um, lavender oil is the most universal oil and has a tranquil aroma that is soothing to the senses as well as to the skin when applied topically. 
taken internally, it contains antioxidants and may provide immune support. And it can be used to add a floral flavor to your evening tea. I like, um, we did have a class this past summer where we made lavender lemonade. I like to diffuse the smell of lavender along with a little bit of vanilla. Awesome, awesome choices to have with it. So um, this is the time if you have any questions to ask about not of the products that were in here, but if you have products that you're questioning or oils, now would be the time to ask them. So we are going to um, continue on. So these are some of the new starter bundles that Young Living's come out with. These have been out for a couple months. You can see there's oils in one. There's the Thieves Home Bundle. I actually have um, almost every product in here except the Thieves um, Fruit and Veggie Wash. And I think I need to put that on my next order. But um, what a great way to transition to a non-toxic home. This is the other new um, bundle that they came out with. My daughter loves this. She smiled at it when I took it out of the box. And this little diffuser sprout, the box actually looks like a little doghouse. And it comes with um, the Kinsense line of oils, which are already pre-diluted, which is wonderful. These are some other starter bundles that Young Living has put together. Any of these bundles that you see in the previous bundles, these are all priced 40 to 50% below buying the items separately. So what a great way to get started and get a lot of um, bang for your buck. Young Living also has what they call a simplified oil line. Just like the label says, simplified. They take the guesswork out of um, putting certain drops for different scents that you wanna do. This is the winter line. As candy cane, winter spa, and pink champagne. I must say the favorite from this from me so far is the candy cane line. What a great one to have around the holidays. So Young Living also um, gives back. They give you free gifts when you buy products from them, depending on the point value. As you can see here, 100 PV, which is point value, you will get 10 free dollars in your Young Living so-called virtual wallet at the 190 level this month. If you do put these on um, loyalty rewards, you get Thieves Cleaning Soap and some Thieves Wipes. Plus the bonus for being on loyalty rewards is, um, excuse me, a five mil bottle of Valor. Up at the 250 level, you get energy, super C tablets, plus everything below. And then the top level, the 300 is you get peace and calming. And I think we all need a little peace and calming during the holidays. But as you can see, if you get all of these gifts, the retail value is close to $300 just for sharing and buying products that you love. These are some benefits of becoming a brand partner. Um, I think I made a, sorry, Haley, I might've put my slides out of order a little bit, but that's okay. We will get through it. Brand partners, um, you can earn bonus points for, and commission, um, you have access to exclusive trainings, you have possible tax benefits, you can earn travel retreats, share your resources. And this kit, it used to be $29.95 and I just realized I didn't carry the price over, but this is now digital for only $14.95. I lost one of my slides, but that's okay. So if um, the other slide I believe that was in there was um, if you wanted to get started, you know, head over to youngliving.com, um, fill your cart with um, various products. Um, you can um, shop for the good ways, just buy anything and check out. Next way would be the um, better way to buy 100 PV, which is point value. And then um, you get discounts with that and you unlock a 24 per discount for one year. Or the best way is to sign up for loyalty rewards and look at all the benefits that you get for loyalty rewards. You can um, save your products for later, explore new products, manage your products, and you earn monthly percentage back, and you also earn free gifts. Our happy lady here with her thumbs up is definitely pointing to loyalty reward orders are much better than cart orders, even though they both spent $600. But with the loyalty rewards, you get points back and you also get free gifts. Free gifts are awesome, which were like the um, December gifts. And as you've heard us talking about loyalty rewards and point value, you might be saying, okay, well, how can I spend these points? Look for this little blue flag on any of the products and that lets you know you can use your points on that. 
with loyalty rewards, you they are also now doing a free diffuser when you place your second loyalty reward of 50 PV or more. And these do not have to be consecutive monthly orders. If you put something on loyalty rewards one month, take a couple months off, place your next order, you will still get this free diffuser and it will be sent automatically with your second order. Young Living has fantastic shipping rates, um, three to nine business days for $7.99. And this is for up to a 150 pound package. Awesome, awesome deal. I would love to ask the post office how much it would cost me to send a 150 pound package. I don't think they can match Young Living's rate. So we do have um, one more class for this month. We will not have a class next week. We want our families to enjoy setting up for um, Christmas, whatever holiday you may be spending, but we are gonna come back on December 29th. We're gonna have an overview, wrap up the 2022 year and set some goals with some of the Young Living products for 2023. So these are still a few year-end wellness challenges. Right now where you're finishing up the Where's My Ningxia Challenge. Next week we will do, excuse me, we will be doing Where Is My Mind At? And then the last one is, um, we're saying goodbye to 2022 with giving up some poor food choices. So if you wanna know any more about these, get in touch with one of us and we can fill you in on those. I had to put this in as my little funny graphic. So I have seemed to develop an addiction to essential oils. So Haley, the question is, is there an oil for that? And so um, are there any questions about any of the products, anything that's going on? So we would like to say thank you for joining us tonight. Um, enjoy your holiday. We will see you back on the 29th. I am going to stop sharing. I am going to um, end the meeting and we will see you all later. Bye. Thanks for coming. Merry Christmas. Bye.